Welcome to the K1200, the world's currently second most powerful cyclotron. It is superconducting cyclotron like the K500. It was finished six years later in 1988. And this is the second stage of acceleration for our lab. The nuclei are coming in a beam from the K500 in that direction. They come down this beam pipe and into here. They are currently traveling at 15% of the speed of light. And when those nuclei enter, there is a stripper foil inside of this cyclotron, which actually removes the vast majority of the electrons from those ionized atoms, stripping us down to nuclei. That's what we want to be able to accelerate. Uh, we're much more efficient when we're accelerating just nuclei. So basically, that pre-acceleration allows us to strip the electrons. Now we have pretty much bare nuclei, which we're accelerating on this level right here, this green paint, you can see this is the plane of acceleration. And it has the same, basically the same parts as the K500. At the center we have the fan blade shaped Ds that are charged to 140,000 volts. That electric field accelerates the nuclei. They're kept in a circle by this coil of superconducting wire generating an incredibly intense magnetic field. Uh, that coil has to be cooled with liquid helium, etc., etc. So. The K1200 accelerates us up to about half the speed of light, at which point those nuclei are ready to be extracted and sent along the beam line. So now we're on essentially the back side of the K1200 cyclotron, and as this has been accelerating these nuclei in this plane, they spiral outwards uh, the faster they go. Eventually they're going to get to the edge. At that point they're typically traveling almost half the speed of light. They've gotten to the edge and now they're going to leave the cyclotron through this beam line here. This beam line is going to take them that way over to the target where they will actually smash into a foil of beryllium and those nuclei will fragment on nuclei in that foil which will cause them to lose some number of protons and neutrons and change their element, change their isotope become something new, something probably unstable, something we hope to study. NSCL is a world-leading laboratory for rare isotope research and nuclear science education. Operation of NSCL as a national user facility is supported by the Experimental Nuclear Physics Program of the National Science Foundation.